वेलकम लर्नर आई एम डॉक्टर आशुतोष कुमार भट्ट एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर स्कूल ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड आईटी उत्तराखंड ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी हल्द्वानी आई होप द टॉपिक डिस्कस टुडे विल डेफिनेटली बेनिफिट यू सो अगेन यू कैन सी हियर टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द क्लास एंड फंक्शन इन रूबी ऑन रेल हाउ टू क्रिएट फंक्शन एंड हाउ टू क्रिएट क्लासेस इन रूबी ऑन रेल एंड Uh, so see the difference between uh, other uh, web programming language and ruby on rail so it is uh, very important uh, programming uh, language for web development and it is open source and it is cost effective also ruby on rail contains many ready made plugins and modules which allow developer not to waste time on writing uh, writing the uh, boilerplate code and uh, it is a framework and uh, it builds the application 30 to 40% faster than other programming languages uh, web page so uh, so we can say it it is faster language and it is cost effective and it is consistent and it is supported majority of blogs books meetups uh, and conferences in uh, developed in ruby on rail as well as it is worked on mbc pattern which we have already dis uh, already discussed and we know about this uh, mbc pattern uh, this mbc is very important and then i have uh, explained you how to write the program and uh, the different operators of ruby on rail the operators like arithmetic operator comparison operator they all are same as uh, the operator of java so you can see here modulus and divide operator so uh, these operators work uh, like operators of the java as well as um, other operators are also be also same as in uh, ruby on rail so we can write this uh, a to the power uh, 5 to the power 3 we can write double asterisk sign so while in case of java we write it power function in place of this we write power function and these are the uh, common uh, operator of uh, comparison for comparison for uh, so these are the same operator as in java and other programming language like dot net framework and we can use if statement uh, in this ruby on rail this is also same as java so we can write here if and and this uh, keyword if will start and end will close it and if elif we will write here elif else and end and if else and we can write also this so we are not using here uh, curly bracket in case of ruby on rail and the while loop will also be used same as uh, in ruby on rail so i am moving fast because i have already discussed in my previous lecture all these facts about this uh, these uh, different if statement conditional statement as well as uh, looping statement to maine inko pehle discuss kar liya hai to isliye main bahut tezi se aage badh raha hu yahan pe so this is while loop while i is less than number and while do and uh, finally we'll write here and and we'll write the statement inside this so we will uh, will not use any curly bracket in case of the uh, ruby on rail and same way we can write here do while loop begin and while so we will write here the syntax of this uh, do while loop is begin and while and then condition and the for loop will be used like that for i in 0 to 5 means i is initialized by 0 and i will be less than equal to Five and four will be closed by n. So these are the different looping statement, and we can also loop, use break and next statement. In case of break, we come out from the loop. जब हम if के साथ break use करते हैं तो loop से ही बाहर आ जाएंगे. And in case of next, uh, in case of next, it will it will रिटर्न फ्रॉम दिस स्टेटमेंट जैसे हमने यहाँ पे आई लेस देन टू दिया तो यहीं से ये रिटर्न कर जाएगा और सीधे फॉर पर आ जाएगा और फिर दोबारा से तो इस इसमें ये नेक्स्ट का जो यूज है वो कंटिन्यू की तरह है जैसे सी लैंग्वेज में कंटिन्यू होता है यहाँ पे नेक्स्ट होता है सी लैंग्वेज में ब्रेक होता है यहाँ भी ब्रेक है तो ब्रेक इज सेम बट कंटिन्यू नेम ऑफ कंटिन्यू चेंज बाई 
next so uh, these are the different looping statement and we can use array so there are two method to use array uh, we can write array like that a equals to array and we have written here array and put a will print the array and uh, we can define array and like that also nums equals to array colon and square bracket and then uh, 1 to 9 a different value which is initialized to this array nums array so number nums is the array uh, nums uh, equals to array it means nums is a array so it is representing that nums is a array and this is square bracket is also represent, representing it as array so we will use dot in, after array and then we are initializing this array so but uh, uh, this is the one way and another way is this a equals to array and we have initialized here inside the square bracket so these are two methods uh, up to that uh, point i have uh, discussed uh, in yes uh, in previous in my previous class so now uh, from this uh, program onward uh, i will explain you today so here you will see a equals to array and we have given we have initialized the values to array so we have given these values to array a equals to array and then uh, uh, inside the square bracket we have given different values and then puts a 3 to 5 means from third position to fifth position so we will print the value of array a from third position to fifth position so this is 0 position, 1 position, 2 position, 3, 3 position, 3 position, 7 plus 3 plus 7, 10. And fifth position, 3, 3 to 3 to fifth uh, means 3 and 4, not 5. So 3 to 5. So it will no, sorry, 3 to 5, 3, 4, 5. So it will display 10, 9 and last is santoshi and this is program 2 where we are writing a0 the same array is given here and we are printing zero position of array a so zero position of array is pu so we are printing here pu so here also put puts a 2 to 4 means from two position to fourth position 2 3 4 so 2 in two position we have lata and four position we have 7 and 3 position 7 and 4th position is 9 so this way we are printing the value of all uh, all these mentioned array position so jo array position mentioned kiya usko hum yahan pe print kar rahe now see this one program this another program formatting uh, of uh, formatting of the output formatting capitalize upper case down case reverse case so we have been different functions and different keyword by uh, using this keyword we can display capitalize uppercase down case reverse case so these are some functions so we have the variable my name and it, the value which is stored inside the my name is p so suppose we have to print this value in capital letter so we'll write here uh, puts my name dot capitalize so this is this will be print in capital letter so you can see here puts my name dot capitalize will print capital letter uh, capitalize means uh, the first letter first letter will be capital so this is first the first one so, ye hum denge to isse pehla wala output jo hai wo aayega capitalize means pehla character capital baaki small letter mein. and puts my name dot uppercase it means the complete word will be displayed in uppercase puts my name dot down case it will display the complete word in small letter puts my name dot reverse it will display the complete word in reverse order p i h u so it will be displayed p is here p i h u puts my name dot length it will display the length of name so the name is p u and its length will be 4 4 will be displayed here so now uh, methods how to create methods in ruby on read so a function is a block of code so method we can call it method as well as function so function is a block of code that perform a particular task and uh, you already know the function and function is a group of statement that together perform a task 
so like a program uh, function is a subset of the program and uh, program ka ek part hai jisko hum program ke sath run karate hain so how to create a program function so we will write def define test means we are defining a test named function so def test means test is a function and it is defined by def keyword and we have uh, the variable a1 equals to p2 a2 equals to nilu so uh, we have been two variable two argument of this test function and these argument are these argument are by having their default value a1 has its default value p2 and a2 has its default value nilu and uh, then we are writing here puts two puts statement the programming language is and then we are printing a1 and uh, and the second output statement puts the programming language is a2 so when we will print it so this uh, this function will be end here and we will uh, run this function by this statement test c1 comma c2 means uh, the test function will run and we will pass two arguments c1 and c2 and this is test function again we are running test function but without argument in this case we are running test function with two argument c1 and c2 but here we are running test function विदाउट आर्गूमेंट तो आप यहाँ पे देखिएगा ये जो ये दो बार टेस्ट लिखा है तो पहली बार भी टेस्ट फंक्शन कर रहे हैं दूसरी बार भी तो फर्स्ट टाइम वैन वी आर रनिंग टेस्ट फंक्शन वी आर पासिंग सी वन एंड सी टू टू आर्गूमेंट बट यर वी आर नॉट पासिंग एनी आर्गूमेंट सो वैन वी विल रन दिस प्रोग्राम तो जब हम प्रोग्राम को रन करेंगे तो वैन वी विल एग्जीक्यूट दिस फंक्शन फर्स्ट वील एग्जीक्यूट दिस फंक्शन वी विल पास टू आर्गूमेंट सी वन एंड सी टू सी वन विल बी कॉपीड ऑन ए वन एंड सी टू विल बी कॉपीड ऑन ए टू वैन वी विल run this test c1 c2 so uh, then in this in that case c1 will be copied on a1 and c2 will be copied on a2 then the programming language then these statement will print the programming language is a1 a1 means c1 is copied here so it will display c1 the programming language is c1 and uh, and the second statement the programming language is C2 because C2 is transferred on A2, so it will display programming language is C1 and programming language is C2. While uh, in case of this only this test, when we execute the uh, test function without any argument, in that case uh, again we will execute this test function but without argument. We are not passing argument. So A1 and A2 may uh, कोई argument value नहीं आएगी. तो नहीं आएगी तो क्या करेंगे कि ये जो डिफॉल्ट वैल्यू इसके अंदर है उसी को डिस्प्ले कर देंगे सो दीज टू लाइन विल एक्जीक्यूट एंड द आउटपुट ऑफ दीज टू लाइन द प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज इज टी एंड द प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज इज नीलू इट विल डिस्प्ले दीज टू वैल्यूज सो दिस इज द फंक्शन एंड दिस इज द वे ऑफ रनिंग दीज फंक्शन दिस फंक्शन नाउ सी अनदर वन here we have a program uh, getting a input from user so how to in, uh, how to uh, input from user so you can see in this program so we have given here enter your name and uh, in the next line we have written here gets so gets uh, by using gets function by using gets we can input the name from the uh, user so we have written here gets dot c h o m p so we have to write this statement uh, and uh, this is print statement puts your name is user whatever you we have input that will be printed by this line so uh, it will display enter your name and then gets dot c h o m p will execute and uh, as we write here priyanka then priyanka will be transferred to the user and it will display your name is priyanka it will display in place of user in place of user it will display priyanka because we have input priyanka so gets dot c h o m p is used for uh, input from user and puts is for uh, printing the output and we are not defining any 
any variable here and variable uh, so you can see here variable are the memory location where uh, which hold any data to be used by any program and uh, class you already know class is a um, entity in object oriented programming and is a template definition of method and variable we can define method as well as variable inside the class and we can define the object of the class a class is a blueprint of creating object means the object is the uh, class is the blueprint for creating an object so we create any object for any class and object are real world entity thing can be seen and touched and uh, the thing can be seen or, or touched but not alive alive nahi hai to ek tarah se object ek entity hai kiski class ki aur variable and methods are defined inside the class to ye basic difference hai ye bahut pehle aap ye samajh chuke honge is cheezon ko jab aapne object oriented programming ya java start ki hogi tab aapko ye clear hoga ki class variable object mein kya difference hai to wahi difference yahan ruby on rails mein bhi hai now you can see uh, using class and object and uh running the function of the class uh, with the help of global variable also we are using here in this program so this is very important program and uh, in this class in this program we are defining two class the first class is class 1 and second is class 2 so we have been two classes one is um, class 1 and another uh, is class 2 so so see how these class is defined here so before uh, explaining this program i will explain a small program here we have class a and it, inside the class we have method 1 and method 2 mm, so we have this is this is method 1 this is function 1 method and function both are same uh, so we have defined def will be used to define a method so we have defined method 1 inside this class as well as method 2 also defined in this class so this is method this method is started from here and this is ended here so uh, simply we have written here output statement this is the first method and this is the last method so these are two methods and we have uh, and both method here and we have end the class so these these two method are encapsulated inside class a so uh, now after defining the class after writing the class we have to define its object so we are defining the object of this class uh, class a uh, the name of class is a so we will write here a dot new uh, p who equals to a dot new means we are defining new class for new uh, object for class a and the name of this object is p who and when we will execute the method 1 first function of this class so we will write p who dot method 1 so when we will execute this p who dot method 1 method 1 then this will display this is first method the output will be this is first method in case i will write here uh, 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 suppose i uh, i will write here uh, p who dot method 2 then output will be this is last method so p who is the object and a is a class and new means we are creating new object of the class and p who is the object again uh, method uh, method is the member function or member method of this um, p who object or a class so you, you can see here class and object example so it is very important uh, in ruby and rail so you can see how easy this programming language ruby and rail but it is the huge of this programming language is is vast and it is a very important programming language for web development and it is open source and cost effective programming language now you can see here one more program where we have defined two classes in the previous one we have one class and inside class we have two methods but here uh, two different classes and two different functions are uh, two different functions are inside Uh, each class so we have uh, print global function inside class 1 and again print global function in class 2 same function is in class 1 and click in class 2 and one one variable we have defined outside the class so if we divide define any variable outside the class that is 
and that will be automatically global variable so global we have written here global variable 10 so we are not writing here any data type so in case of ruby on rail we don't need to define data type it automatically assume the data and accordingly uh, convert the data uh, as per uh, the requirement so uh, we are having two functions the first function is print global the global function in class 1 is uh, dollar global so always the global variable will be started by dollar sign so has dollar global variable and in class 2 we have print global function and inside this function we have written this message puts global variable in class 2 is has dollar global variable and when we will uh, when we will run this program so before running this program we have to define object of class 1 and class 2 so we have written here as class 1 object this is class 1 object equals to class 1 dot new and class 2 object this is class 2 object equals to class 2 dot new so we will write class name and then new it means new object we are creating and this is the object so we will write here class 1 class one object dot print global when we will run this statement then it will execute this this print global function and when we are writing class two object dot print global then it will execute this uh, class two print global function so you can see here output uh, global variable of class one is 10 global variable of class two is 10 so same variable is used in both function and but their value is also the same Hmm. global variables global variable begin with dollar sign assignment of the global variable alter the global status so uh, the global variable always define before uh, before the classes means uh, at the starting when program is started here and outside outside all classes we will suppose we will define any variable outside all the classes then it will be a global variable so now you can understand the concept of global variable and this is same as in C language as well as in, in Java and C++ and instance variable begin with uh, instance variable begin with at the rate sign and global variable are begins with dollar sign so you can see in the previous slide the global variable begin with dollar sign as well as instance variable begin with at the rate and class variable instance variable instance variable will begin with at the rate and class variable begin with double at the rate and must be initiated before they can be used they can be used in the method definition initialized before they can be used in definition must be initialized before they can be used in method definition so suppose we have to define a variable inside this class then we will have to write double ampersand sign double and sign this double and sign and local variable begin with lower case letter or underscore jab bhi hum local variable banayenge to wo lower case honge ya under ke, un, underscore se start karenge the scope of a local variable ranges from class module definition or to corresponding end of form block opening braces to be closed and it's closed braces so local variable ka scope wahi hoga jo java mein hum rakhte the to iske liye humko alag se kuch nahi padhna hai ki local variable ki definition jo java mein thi the same definition is here also but local variable but the difference um, uh, between this ruby on rail and other language in ruby on rail always local variable will start by uh, underscore or uh, variable begin with a lower case letter uh, lower they will begin with lowercase letter or underscore and how that the class variable begin with double ampersand sign uh, means local variable are the variable of function means suppose inside any function we are defining any variable so it will be local variable like in this program suppose we are defining any variable inside this function so they will be local variable and inside the class before the function and inside the after the class declaration suppose we are defining any variable then these variable will be started by double ampersand sign and instant variable will be uh, begin with uh, ampersand sign 
so these are the difference and uh, dollar sign will be used in place uh, will be prefix uh, in in uh, if a, a prefix with any variable then it will be called global variable means dollar sign will be prefix with the global variable so ye uh, difference hai so uh, you can now you understand about this effect of uh, class and object in ruby on rail as well as how to define a function in ruby on rail so this ruby on rail is very important programming language on and in next class i will discuss about the database connectivity uh, and uh, how to execute the ruby on rail program so i will dis discuss about all these facts uh, so thank you very much listening to this lecture thank you again